Some leaks have surfaced regarding Redmi's upcoming smartphones and car sharing service Soulcar is offering a pretty hefty discount for the month of Merdeka. EMUI 10 has just been announced, so Huawei smartphone users can look forward to some pretty interesting features. That and even more on today's episode of Ichimi, so keep watching. The Redmi 8 and Note 8 is expected to be launched by Xiaomi soon, and an image has surfaced online that could be the budget Redmi 8. The device has passed China's TINA certification, which has revealed that it could be coming with a 6.22 inch HD Plus display, along with up to 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, which is expandable via microSD. We're also guessing it could be powered by a Snapdragon 439 chipset under the hood. On the other hand, a possible image of the Redmi Note 8 Pro has surfaced, which indicates that there will be three or even four cameras on the back. Lately, Xiaomi has been releasing smartphones with AMOLED screens that come with an in-display fingerprint sensor. But since this appears to be a rear-mounted sensor, we're guessing that the Redmi Note 8 Pro could be coming with an LCD panel instead. Speaking of Chinese smartphones, Huawei's Nova 5T is about to be showcased in Malaysia at the KL Fashion Week this Sunday. Based on reliable leaks to Roland Kwan, the Nova 5T is expected to have identical specs to the Honor 20, with a 6.26 Full HD Plus screen, as well as a Kirin 980 processor. The Honor 20 also packs a 3750 mAh battery, which will hopefully make its way across to the Nova 5T. The base model for the Honor 20 comes with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage and is priced at 1699 ringgit. But we do expect the Nova 5T to be priced a little higher due to its supposedly more premium Huawei branding. Car sharing platform Soulcar is offering a 31% discount for selected models during the month of Merdeka. So if you're looking to rent a car, you have just over a week left to take advantage of this promotion. Sadly, this doesn't apply to any of their more premium models like BMWs or Minis. To get the discount, enter in the promo code SOMERDEKA31 into the SOCAR app and you can rent some of the models including the Honda HRV with the discount. Huawei has just announced the latest version of their operating system, EMUI 10. There's a host of new features expected, including the ability to share screens across multiple devices, including PCs and smartphones, as well as a much needed dark mode. As EMUI 10 is based on Android Q, you can expect some of Android's latest features, such as bubble notifications, to make its way across to Huawei smartphones soon. Internal testing will first take place via a beta program for the P30 series on September 8, with other models to follow soon. Huawei also says that the upcoming Mate 30 smartphones will have EMUI 10, with Huawei's flagships expected to be launched before the end of the year. The successor to the popular Realme 3 Pro has been announced in India and it is called the Realme 5 Pro. Perhaps due to the inauspicious nature of the number 4, Realme has decided to skip the number altogether. It will have the same 6.3 inch Full HD Plus dewdrop display that the Realme 3 Pro has and has a great 90.6 screen to body ratio as well. Under the hood, it's powered by an upper mid range Snapdragon 712 processor with up to 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of UFS 2.1 storage, with the option to expand your storage by 256 gigs. It's a quad camera setup at the rear with a 48 megapixel f1.79 main shooter, an 8 megapixel f2.25 ultra wide angle lens, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel portrait camera. The most obvious upgrade here is the Realme 5 Pro's USB Type-C port, which supports 20 watts Fook flash charging. But here's the best news of all, you get a 3.5mm headphone jack. So far, it's not been announced for the Malaysian market yet, but pricing in India is set at around 816 ringgit for the variant with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. So that's all for today's episode of Ichimi. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell icon for future updates. If you'd like to watch the last episode of Ichimi, click here. Or if you want to watch another cool video, click here. So that's all from me. Bye.